It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the New Orleans Saints. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Sunshine State in TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. This crowd excited to see their Jaguars as both teams emerge from their tunnels a moment ago. We are just about ready for football as the Jags get set to match up with the New Orleans Saints. The wait is finally over. Brandon God and Charles Davis here on the start of a new NFL season, and we kick it off with a bang on Thursday night. What's interesting about these Thursday night games is oftentimes we hear people say, is it really fair for players to play on Thursday night? But what did we hear from both of these teams going into this one? How excited they were to have the spotlight on their teams, their franchises, the rest of the league watching them go at it. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. Orchestrating the offense will be their versatile quarterback, the Hawaii native, Oregon Duck product. Of course, that's Marcus Mariota. Coming out of Oregon as the Heisman Trophy winner, we thought that this guy was headed towards superstardom, but while he didn't quite reach those heights, he did have some flashes along the way. And right now, his athleticism continues to keep him in the league. Still has a good arm, mobile, a great guy to have in the locker room. He can win if given an opportunity. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he will be very close to a first down. I see the close fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. On fourth down, Matt Hawk is on to punt. This is taken at the 18. It's a return of four following a 42-yard punt. And possession will switch hands first and 10. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give him a better chance to lead the team that wins. Yeah, he did not want to go down there as he carries tacklers for a solid gain of nine. On second down, Pickens. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. Now he's full, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. Well, you don't usually get a sack from a nose tackle spot, but we got one there. No, we don't. And a lot of the times in passing situations, they end up off the field anyway. So how happy was he to work his way back to the quarterback and put him on the ground? He's going to end up with a nickname after something like that, some big jelly or something like that. <laughs> now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. Boy, not what you want to see in quarter one of the new year. We'll be back. third down Pickens 
Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 56 yards rushing for him now. What a drive for him to kick off the new season. A couple of nice carries back to back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. A costly penalty there. A lineman got downfield, and for the moment, that cost him six points. Still second down. to throw on second down. Throwing middle, and it's complete. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. Looking to throw. Brown. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Meeting the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Facing a second and six from the eight. They'll run with Bud, and he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. First and goal at the one. This is Bowden, and he'll take this into the end zone. And touchdown, Jacksonville. Nick Bowden punching it in from a yard away. And the Jaguars are on the board here first in the season opener. Josh Lambeau now for the point after. And this is up and good. The score now 7 0 Jaguars. That one in the books as a 12 play drive. And it ends with a one yard touchdown run. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They went three and out on their first drive of the new season. Not an ideal beginning as they start drive number two, first and ten. A gain of six there on first. Second down, Kamara. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. Kamara. Tackle by the corner, C.J. Henderson. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now a handoff. Here's Kamara. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. A give. This is Kamara. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. 
Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. On third down, here's Camaro. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. A tenth carry for Camara. Gets past one man. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. 48 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. So after the run by Camara, now another first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Mariota to throw it. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And he is not going to get through here on try number one. They stop him at the goal line. No gain on the play, and it's going to be second and goal. Again, Camara, and he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Alvin Camara taking it in from a yard out, and the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Point after, right down the middle, and we are tied here in the second quarter. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They were successful last time finding the end zone on their opening drive of the season. And they'll get another shot here with a first and ten. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. He'll buy some time right. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Back to throw. Brown. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. And this is what you wanted to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. Taking it about the 16. A pretty good punt, but a nice 13-yard return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. So first and 10 now from the 30. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Tight in Troutman. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. 
So let's see about the calling. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Kamara gets it again on second down. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Finds his man complete. That's Peters. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A big play there on the catch and run. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. We remind you that coming up at the half, we'll hand things off to Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll have scores from earlier today, plus a look ahead as well, so you won't want to miss that. A lot going on here in week one. Oh, that'll be incomplete. He really took a shot as he let that go, and it's going to bring up a third down. Out to his left. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Able to pick up a dozen yards, but they needed more. Fourth down. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So a good kick there, and they put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But in the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post and take the throw. Not right. the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked Go to so something well, else. and maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. And he'll get this one up to the 26. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. From the gun, Brown rolling to his right. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. With nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job seat. He got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. First down now, but that clock rolling. Right back to him on first down. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Back to throw now on second and ten, eluding the pressure right. Got a man, that's Colin Johnson. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Looking to throw, Brown. Wide open receiver complete. And he will have a first down here as they get into field goal range, down just shy of the 20. Brown now throwing on first down. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. Defense. Defense. They're getting the yardage. 
yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30, so now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate giving up. They'll try to run this one in, and he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Punching it in from a yard away. And once again, the Jaguars are back out in front. Point after by Lambeau, up and good. And the lead is now 14 to 10. So that drive in total eight plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And with 25 seconds to go, we'll, we'll see how they want to play this. Mariota's throw complete there to Smith. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. First and ten, here's Mariota. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. They'll contain him to just four, second down. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. Dodges him at the 50, and he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. He'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. So we have reached halftime here in the Thursday night opener. As we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando, that's where we check in with a coach at our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, good to get another season underway. We'll get back to you.